Suppose an alien ambassador came to Earth. Would the alien be dangerous? Could we be killed? Let's send a robot in case the alien destroys anyone nearby. But let us think about how different could an alien be? The most alien-like animal on Earth is probably an octopus. How is an octopus different? An octopus has eight arms. A human has only two arms and two legs. An octopus has nine brains. A human has only one. An octopus has three hearts. A human has only one. An octopus has blue blood. A human has red blood. An octopus is mostly bendy muscle, while a human has a stiff skeleton. An octopus can escape through tiny openings, whereas a human would get stuck. A blue-ringed octopus has enough poison to kill many humans. Humans are not poisonous, but humans are safe, because humans live in the air and octopuses live in the water, except in Queensland. Let us pretend the alien ambassador is a bit like a really weird octopus. Our monster could be an image around a bottle, and we could see if we can make our robot swim towards it like a fish. Let us start up our Lego 51515 Scratch. Get Mindstorms, click on that, and the Mindstorms page will come up. We've got to move it a bit in to fit the area where we're recording. Uh, we then uh, click on code and we see in the corner that the red up here means that we haven't got a connection to our robot. We want to have a Bluetooth connection so we click on that and Lego kindly makes the suggestion. Thank you, Lego. We turn the robot on. We wait till a pattern appears. And then we press the Bluetooth connection. And we come down the bottom, click connect. And you can see the blue flashing to show that we've got a connection. Good. Well, OK, let's see if we can move towards the alien. We'll pull down one. Uh, Lego's very intelligently known that we've already got a motor connected at E. We've started it up and it's run backwards. Well, that's not very good. Lego was intelligent, but we weren't. OK. Let's change the direction to forwards. It was a bit hard, so we changed that to 120 degrees. And I've also connected a second motor, which is F. We've made it degrees, 120. And when you're doing this, you'll often make mistakes. And I've left something out there. Can you see what it is? We'll run it. <laughs> and you can see what it is. It's still going backwards. Oh, dear. That's because I haven't reversed the direction of the rotation of E, the motor connected to E. Let's fix that up. So that's going the right way now. Now, the other thing is that it's really, see, and we prove it, and that works well. It's always good to check. But the other thing is, it's a bit, it's a bit tight. It doesn't look very sinuous, does it, like a fish? It's very jerky, almost like a dance. So uh, let's cut the speed down. There's a command we can get. And we'll cut the speed of the motor connected to E down to 30 instead of 75. And we'll connect the F and we'll cut that down to 30 as well. We'll connect those back. And we'll run that and see what that looks like.
that's a bit gentler oh that's good so we'll put that back and we'll add three more pairs of E and F and so we'll pull each of them down one at a time we're just checking what we've got to do there we make sure this time we do change it the right way that's for the motor at E we'll change that to 120 120 degrees and we'll pull down the next one it's motor F and it's going the right way we'll change that to 120 degrees again so that's two pairs and we'll bring down a third make up a third pair we've remembered to change it the right way <laughs> 120 degrees yep 120 degrees that's right and we'll pull down another F we change that E to F so it controls the motor at F slot hmm. change that to 120 we we'll change that to degrees and because we've done this once before I'm going to pull down one more E uh, and make that 120 degrees and it'll make the robot face the alien okay and I'm just doing that before I I've done it before if you were doing it you probably have another go to do that let's start that off and see how it goes one pair two pairs th three pairs and there it faces the alien that's good that's pretty good right but I said before we show you what happens if we've made a bad mistake okay now suppose that we've didn't change that degrees to rotations we've got to change it and we started that off um, we'd want to stop that pretty quickly but let's see what happens when we run it and this is not only a bad mistake it's a disastrous mistake ah, we've knocked the alien over we've pressed the red thing quickly and we just hope that it's this sort of thing doesn't happen and we are not the shark well we hope the alien is not too upset what's an octopus do when it's founds a menace nearby a danger it gets ready to run and it runs <laughs> okay so perhaps we should find out how to make our robot run and be safe we can pull down a set movement for motors to both motors E and F it's set already to that uh, motors we've got we want to go fast so we'll put a movement speed movement speed to 100 percent and we want to go back a certain distance we'll go back not forwards we've had enough trouble with the alien already we'll make it 20 centimeters and so our program first of all we swim towards the alien then we get nervous and back away quickly hoping that it won't squash us and so let's try that we go forward swim forward gently and then ah panic <laughs> okay well that is about enough excitement for today um what say we try and save it now if we go to save as you'll notice we can put it alien it goes into my case in documents lego mindstorms lego mindstorms in the document folder on my c colon drive okay and we've named that alien part one now if we close things down and start up again we find something unusual we saved it as alien part one however lego has edited our name and it's become alien space two 
So Lego has updated the number. Now this is a bit of a trap, it's very unusual. So be aware of this and so to open our Alien Part 1, we in fact have to have to open Alien Part Space 2 dot LMS. And we start up, we click on code, and we've got no program. But go to File, Open, and inside Documents Folder with Lego Mindstorms, we've got Alien Part 2, and there it is. OK, so that's fine for today. Next time we'll look at trying to communicate with the alien instead of just retreating in panic. OK, see you next time.